Hey, what's happening? It is 3.42 a.m. And we're heading home. Heading home from work. It's officially Friday. And yes, I'm going to be off today and tomorrow. First week accomplished. Uh, back from vacation. Thank God. So yeah, I am ready to get this weekend kicked off. Good thing about getting off at this time of the morning or night, however you want to look at it. Technically it's early in the morning, but it's you know literally my night. But as you can see, the good thing is no traffic. Now coming to work is a different story. It can be pretty aggravating, but going home is a breeze. <laughs> and that's the way I would, you know, rather have it. I'd rather it be a breeze going home. That way I can go ahead and get home, you know, without any of the hustle and bustle of the evening traffic that ensues when people get off work at five, six o'clock in the evening. I just, I like that better. One of the downsides, though, is when you get off at this time uh, and the wee hours of the morning like this, there's there's nothing open to eat unless you stop at like Waffle House or the Huddle House, you know, something of that nature. Other than that, you're pretty much screwed. Right up here on the right. Uh, just past this church I know it's hard to see because it's dark but after you go past this church I think it was last summer I was going home and uh, there was these two guys or two people uh, out in this field up here on the right and each one of these persons had a shovel and the car was out here in the field with the headlights on. This is no joke. I'm not making this up, man. I mean, I am not making this up. And I was going home like this time right here, right here on the right. And it was, it was crazy, man. I was like, what are those people doing out there in that field with the headlights from the car on and both of them out there with shovels? It was strange, man. I mean, they weren't, they weren't, close by the road. They were kind of down in there a little bit, but I saw them. I said, oh no. That was something right out of a movie, buddy. I'm going to tell you right now. Needless to say, I kept on trucking. I didn't stop to find out what was going on. One thing you have to keep in mind when you're getting off work at this time right here in the wee hours of the morning, every once in a while, you have to stop and get gas on the way home. Well, tonight I'm good. I don't have to stop, but right up here on the left is a gas station. You'll see it in the frame here any second. Right there, you see it? That gas station on the left. And as you can see, it's empty. That's the way it was when I stopped there. I don't know, I guess about six months ago. Six to eight months ago, I stopped there about this time here early early in the morning I had to get gas I was on fumes and you know there's nobody there no cars you know except for the one car that was there for you know the person working inside right well I started pumping gas in my truck and this dude just shows up out of nowhere I don't know where he came from of course he come up and asked me if he could borrow some money which I didn't have no money even if I had money I wouldn't want to give him no money but I didn't have any you know I said sorry buddy I just put what I had in the gas tank and uh he act like he got kind of ticked off <laughs> he, just, he just walked off but that's what's freaky man he just poof he just popped up out of nowhere and I was like where in the world was this guy at you know, so I always like to double check my surroundings, you know. But 
that's one of the things you got to look out for, especially when you uh, get off work at, at this kind of hour, stuff like that. It's crazy, man. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I know this has been a quick vlog, but <laughs> it's uh, it's late. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go to bed. And uh, so, let's get the rest of the way home, put this night successfully in the books, uh, looking forward to playing some music tomorrow, relaxing, uh, spending some time with my wife, um, maybe we can get something to put on the grill. Uh, she brought, she, uh, she brought, she bought these new, I guess they're like grill mats or something. Uh, she saw them on Facebook, I think, and they're like, you, sh you can put them on your grill, the grates of your grill, and it's, you're supposed to be able to cook on these things, and it and it's like a non-stick and all this stuff. I don't know. Uh, she wanted to try it, I, so I think they came in the mail the other day, so it was like 20 bucks or something. I don't know, so maybe we'll try those out over the weekend and see how they work. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, man, so just looking forward to chilling out, man, having some downtime. Like I said, that first week back at work after vacation is always pretty tough for me. So anyway, enough of me babbling on. I'm going to get off here, and I hope y'all enjoy your day. By the time you see this, you'll be, you know, heading to work or already got to work or you know your day is already I'm sure has gotten started so thank you for watching I hope you have a, a great day have a great weekend and we'll see you later on today because it's technically Friday you know and uh, it'll be uh, quite a few hours from now but <laughs> I gotta get some sleep so uh, we'll see you then everybody take care and uh, God bless see you next time Bye-bye.